Hi, my name is Mitch, and this is my wife, Diane. We go cruising and traveling around the world and rate different cruise ships. Cruise ship crews nowadays are no longer the American type love book crew. Many are multicultural from around the world. Your cruise directors tend to be the flaming buoyant type with a British Isles accent. Getting on to the Princess cruise ship was anything but easy. We had a three hour delay in a big storm and then another three hour delay because inside because they said the other passengers weren't getting off and there was a Coast Guard uh, inspection. It was a total nightmare. We finally got behind some advanced age people who bum rushed the door and we got in behind him and finally got onto the ship. The next picture you'll see here, I met a gentleman named Roger, who was a childhood friend of my father's. They were the founding members of the first diving club in California called Sons of Beaches. Real cool guy. Past uh, Aruba's had some bad press, but let me tell you about Aruba. Uh, we were unable to find any Dutch serial killers, and the biggest enemy there is the heat. It is hot as heck. <music> Photo coming up after this red boat, you'll see a natural land bridge with water under it. Well, it fell into the water, it no longer exists. So if you see it on the internet on a traveling show, it's no longer there. We went to rent scooters on the island of Aruba. Well, we went and found they just had quads and they wouldn't rent us scooters. If I wanted a quad, I'd get a scooter with training wheel. Not what I was looking for, but we did find an individual who did rent us his scooter. It worked out great. But the shops were not renting scooters when we were there. Okay, you see right here, there's a little grass hut on a little pier. Right under there, you'll see some iguanas. When you pull up your cruise ship, look right there and look for that little pier. They were very tame and they were eating lettuce that was provided for them. I got some great Photoshop. It's a must see if you go to Aruba and it doesn't cost any money. So check it out when you're there. This photo booth, the red photo booth, is another famous tourist spot. And here's that scooter I was talking about. Boy, we had a great time riding around the island on the scooter. This is my wife learning how to ride the scooter. Then we went to one of the tourist sites there. It's called the California Lighthouse, another must-see. So try to get a scooter if you're able to. If not, just take a taxi. And then the next picture is me standing to I Love Aruba on our way out of Aruba. Our next stop was Cartagena, Colombia, and this was a good one. Something to note, outside the fort, they have vendors all over the place. Now you buy one thing from one of them, they will flock to you like flies on you know what. So knock them down the price if you do buy something, but keep your valuables hidden or have one of those money belts under your clothing is a good idea. Inside the fort, there aren't those issues. They're just outside the front.
photo is of Carlos Escobar, the Al Capone of Colombia. This was his personal gun collection, and here's the home where he was shot down and killed. And the next picture is of his gravesite and marker. This next building is a famous building. U.S. government employees selected some hookers here and got caught. Our next stop was Panama Canal, and this is what you first see when you're entering the Atlantic Side Harbor. And as you approach it, this is what came out of this large ship, and here's your first entrance to the first gate. here you'll see a little locomotive. They're only in this place at Panama Canal. They're specifically made for the Panama Canal only. They cost three million a piece. photo is the Bridge of the Americas and then we went through Panama City. Panama City is also called the Dubai of Central and South America and then we were through there and off to Costa Rica. driving by we went to a police station and then soon after that we went by a graveyard here in Costa Rica. Pretty interesting. Diane and I did an excursion zip lining in the jungles of Costa Rica. I highly recommend this. Next photo after this you see I took from another bridge of a crocodile. Now there's a legend story in Costa Rica of the tame crocodile who would take food out of someone's hand who was a pet. He no longer exists, he's passed away, so do not feed the crocodile, they will eat you. Our next 
Next up was San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua. Really, really fun place. This next photo is the little shopping center they have right as you got the ship. Now the prices are really inexpensive so you can bargain them down even cheaper so it was a pretty good buy not a lot of shopping there but really small not a bad idea to pick up a couple of souvenirs Fun thing when we were in Nicaragua, we rented out a motorcycle and went through the countryside. Now they had green fields with cows and horses and they had tree covered roads. It was beautiful. Then we drove up to the site. It's similar to the one in Brazil with the Jesus. Real steep with the motorcycle but I pulled it off and we hiked up there. Now if you're advancing in you may want to skip this one because it's a little bit challenging physically but it is memories for the rest of my life. I had just an awesome time. Then you can see the photo of me there right under Jesus. And then we found this interesting person who became our friend. She lives near us here in Orange County named CJ. The next photo is the tender. Sit on the top, the bottom is too hot, it's 120 degrees. Now Diane and I have left Nicaragua and we were headed to Cabo San Lucas. San Lucas has become in the last few years very commercialized. That's modern hotels. The harbor is pretty modern. It's a lot nicer than a lot of harbors we have in California. And the fishing it looks a little bit like there's way too many fishermen and way too many boats. It looked to be overfished to me. I only saw a couple uh, small marlin being claimed. There wasn't a ton of fish being pulled out. Maybe they need a catch and release system or maybe it was just an off day when I was there for the fish. Anyways, there's a lot of shops, has all the modern conveniences, and if you're a partier, that may be a great place for a spring break or another place like that. Me, I kind of like the older, um, less developed places, but for someone who likes all the modern convenience, nice yachts, and a lot of, uh, it's kind of Americanized, very safe, um, Cabo might be your ticket to go to. leaving Cabo San Lucas. Now the tender there was quite a bit better, had air in it. And just a wind up of our trip. Our trip was reasonable for the price and our service from our room tenant and our waiter was spectacular. Now we're pulling into the harbor here in San Pedro, heading for home. And then we picked up, got a little bit of food and headed off. Then I headed off to work. Where I work is the funeral industry. I do dub releases, at funerals, memorial services, life celebrations, and I also do burial at sea, and I charter boats for burial at sea, and white doves uh, events. Now here's another event we have with our doves being released, and I do many weddings, I do the filming, the pictures, and I send it to you by email. So if you want to reach us or my service here in Southern California, you can reach me at 714-903-6599.